family member, Jeff Dinowitz. I represent the Northwest Bronx. I have been working on anti-tobacco legislation for many, many years now. We've passed laws uh, banning smoking in their schools, banning smoking in their libraries, in parks throughout the state, except for the Adirondack. Um, we've taken so many steps, uh, my colleagues have as well, because we understand that people die from these products. You know, the it, it's like an arms race. That's why I see this. The tobacco companies have been aiming weapons at all of us, but particularly kids. We try to find ways to counteract those weapons, you know, anti-ballistic missiles, so to speak. And they come up with another way to get around what we've done, and so on and so forth, back and forth. Well, here's an example where a, an excellent provision was put into the budget a few years ago, but they have found ways around it. So we have to pass this now in order to counteract that. And a few weeks ago, I went with the New York uh, City Sheriff, and we raided uh, a couple of places in my district where they were selling all kinds of legal stuff. They had untaxed cigarettes, unstamped cigarettes, in hidden panels in the ceilings. They had, um, yeah, some of this stuff. Uh, behind panels in a wall, in, in, a, in like a, a glass case, all kinds of stuff. You don't necessarily see when you walk in there, but it's there. They're selling things. They're really bad for everybody, but they are particularly bad for kids. I mean, if you had the opportunity to have something that tasted like cherry or grape, I mean, I know I have a sweet tooth. Kids are attracted to things that resemble candy. It's not shocking. And the fact that was just that was just testified to that such a high percentage of kids are using these products is really outrageous, and we have to do everything we can to stop it. And it's unconscionable that any company, any store, anybody would be pushing this on our kids because that's like pushing drugs, as far as I'm concerned. So I want to thank the sponsors, my colleagues here, and all the advocates uh, for being here because we have an opportunity to make a difference and to save lives. That's what I'm